Okay, this is going to be a quick little video. This is a UAE for Droid. A lot of people ask me how it ran. I'm going to launch it and show you guys. First thing you're presented with is configure or start Amiga. You're going to want to configure the keys and everything else, so click on configure. And the first thing you see is the menu option for paths. You're going to go to your ROM location, which is your kickstart ROM. You're going to select it and press start. And then you're going to browse to where your kickstart ROM is and select it. Then you're going to scroll down and under performance options, you're going to enable sound because it's off by default. Enable auto frame skip. And then you're going to scroll down to the controls option and select physical controls and then press start. Then you're going to highlight the key you want to change, press start, and then press the button. Now you're ready to uh, load a game, so just press escape. Scroll up to where it says floppy one location. Press start and browse to your games. Once you have the uh, disk loaded, press escape, and then start Amiga. To exit a game um, or go to the menu, just press the menu button on your Yen lips 
and then go to manage and press start and then you can load a new game uh, first you need to remove the floppy then select your new game then press escape until it asks you if you want to reset select yes and your new game will load up Okay, as you can see, uh, things run really smooth. Um, they load up. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know if there's a way to speed everything up. I think you can take off the sync threshold, and it'll speed things up uh, on the loading side. I'm not really worried about that too much. It kind of makes me feel like I'm running the real thing when I have to wait. Um, one thing I forgot to show you guys: there is an option to switch to. Um, let's see, like mouse and keyboard mode. Go down to more. Um, bring up the menu and go to more and then you can switch to keyboard mode, touch controls, or change the mouse button. By default the touch controls are off, but if you want to use the touch screen, there it is.